Good morning everyone, today I am up stupidly early to catch a train all the way to Dresden, so let's just get that over with. It is not even 6am yet, let's go. I'm definitely a bit too trusting the weather forecast because it's supposed to be about 9 degrees Celsius later today in Dresden, so I kind of decided to wear my jacket instead of my absolutely giant winter coat, but oh my gosh, it's like negatives right now. <sighs> you can see my breath, I'm really freezing in Berlin. I'm really hoping it warms up when the sun comes out, or I am not going to have a good time. I know I don't know much German, but I couldn't really see the train station from my area, and so I was able to ask someone, Entschuldigung, wo ist der Bahnhof? And I found it. It's right, it was right here. It's, I mean, that's a pretty useful sentence. Of all the sentences to learn, where is the train station? Thanks, Duolingo. <laughs> I'm now quite glad I got to the train station or the Hauptbahnhof with 20 minutes to spare because this place is absolutely massive and I have absolutely no clue where my part is. Hey, they have those double-decker trains just like they did in Australia. Now, I don't know if I'm allowed necessarily to be here, but I'm in one of those Harry Potter Hogwarts Express style coaches. Like, I have my own little little room. I, I feel like there's going to be a cart coming by asking if I want chocolate frogs. This is really cool. This is going to be a nice train ride. So I didn't really get a chance to explore much of the train because I kind of fell asleep immediately after reading some of my book. And I realized that the train actually has a restaurant section as well. So on my way back to Berlin today, I'm going to have to try the restaurant. Now to find my way to the center of the city. What? is going on here what is what is this happening horsing around here what's that so i've now just arrived at the procession of princes which is basically a very long portrait along the entire wall that is able to represent every one of the rulers of the city of dresden over time and it goes from like the 11th century all the way until present day. What do you say when a girlfriend of yours ends up letting one loose? Damn, she fart. I mean, fart is just going to be an inherently funny word in the German language, even though it just means to drive. So if you wanted to say, he drives to Switzerland, er fart nach die Schweiz. I and mean, then he's farting all over the place, all the way to Switzerland. I just, I can't not laugh every time I have to say it. So I'm now on my Kurt Vonnegut tour, and this is my guy. Introduce yourself. Hello, my name is Danilo. I live since 1987 here in this town, and I organized this tour about Kurt Vonnegut since 2008 as a unique tour guide here in our city. Awesome. Slaughterhouses have been repurposed as a convention center. Yes. Okay. And they're locked off. Okay, cool. So we're going in here? So let us open the door. And this stairway, as you can see, this is original from the time I built this house. And if you remember, the book was written, uh, we opened the door, go deep in the cellar. Yeah, that time we jumped in the basement of this part. Our cinema was secured after the mat, and uh, I will explain you later this memory wall of Kurt Jr. Mm -hmm. The first bombers were over the town. We have a photo from Kurt Jr. A short biography. The red lines, old area, a building that not exist, that destroyed with the uh, area. So our tour has just ended, and we finished with some nice. German coffee. Thank you very much. You've been a great guy. Nice it's been time. lovely Thank meeting you. Thank you. See you later. So after taking a nice hour break in that cafe, just catching up on the internet and things and letting my poor legs get some energy back in them, I'm now going to walk another two miles to the Neustadt or the new city to find this really cool passageway that I just saw a picture of on the internet and I went, I want to go find that and I don't want to get a tram. Maybe I'll get a tram on the way back after I lose the control of my legs. Now, 
wrong, Germans, but it seems like someone in Dresden is a big Panic at the Disco fan, because right here, I believe this store directly translates to Emperor's New Clothes. So, I don't know, maybe Brendan Urie has got a little shop in Dresden, who knows. <laughs> I really hope you guys aren't judging me, but I just got another pastry. It's one of those like l like hollow cinnamon sugar logs. Usually they fill them with ice cream. Uh, today I'm just having one plain. So this street honestly reminds me of that one little area of like Seven Dials in Covent Garden of London, where like every building is a different color, has a different mural happening. Well, that's one way to make the uh, rain gutters a bit more uh, fun, I guess, yeah? <laughs> you know, I originally wasn't even gonna go to the new Stutz, but I'm incredibly happy I did, because I saw so much stuff. It's like such a different type of city here. Uh, I don't know, it's very modern, and there's loads of shops, and everyone's bustling around like a normal city, and I don't know, I just, I really like the atmosphere. My friend got attacked by an evil wizard and got turned into a Danish, uh, ergo, they're a pie. One small thing to note about Dresden is I really like how the streets aren't like paved with asphalt. Like they've really kept the way it's been and everything is kind of as is. I mean even the like pavement, the sidewalk I'm walking on right now is a mosaic. So props to Dresden. Really cool. Hello, I have now met Tanya. Tanya at the I was gonna say airport, the train station. I'm at the train station two hours early because every part of me is deteriorating and I need to sit down. And what are you doing? You're going back to your home? Yes. Cool. <laughs> high five. German high five. I don't know why. German high five. We, we say also high five. <laughs> That's not cool. Uh, I ended up falling asleep for a lot of that train ride. I am really exhausted. I'm so excited to have a nice long shower and get some sleep. I have two more stops and then to Berlin I am in. Well, to Berlin I am in? Alright. I finally made it back to my house. Well, here at last, I'm at my hostel, and it seems like everyone else has claimed all the bunks that are on the bottom. So I've got top bunk. Hey -o. Cool. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did like it, you can subscribe because I make new videos every time I travel. Tomorrow, I'm spending some time in Berlin in Tiergarten and doing a meetup with lots of you. So, I hope to see you then. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. So, after much walking, the sun has gone down. I've now made it to Checkpoint Charlie. Meetup is over. Time for Essen. Yeah!